this is the first time that I'm hearing myself talk all morning and I feel like I don't sound right. <coughs> well, hey guys, we need to talk. I would say, hey, I'm Ruby Jean and welcome back to my channel. And I mean that, welcome back, because it has been about five months since I last put up a video. So let's talk about that. I started YouTube because it was actually an assignment from a teacher for my oral comm for the media course. And when school switched to online because COVID happened and we all got sent home, I made a YouTube video. I loved it so much and I found it so fun. And I was like, you know what? What else am I going to do in quarantine? So I kept making videos. But of course, like everyone else, I went through this stage in quarantine where I literally had no motivation to do anything, even things I was passionate passionate about no longer sounded fun or like a good idea and I really just lost my passion for everything including YouTube which is so sad because I got to my school semester after quarantine and I so wished that I had continued YouTube because I missed it. I had this creative outlet that I absolutely loved. I felt like it grew me in so many ways. I really wanna jump back into it. But first of all, let's go into why I stopped in the first place. This last semester was the most hectic semester I ever had and hopefully ever will have. But let's start with the whole moving thing. I actually started to film a whole bunch of moving vlogs and had these cool like time lapses of me completely emptying out my room. I did tours of my new room, but honestly, I didn't feel like editing them. I didn't feel like posting them. And I felt like because everything was so fast paced that I never really actually love the end product of what I was doing. I just decided, you know what, I'm not gonna throw out a video just to throw out a video. Like, I want it to be a video that I'm proud of. There was that whole transitional time that probably would have made a couple cool videos for you guys to see, but I just had no passion to put them out there. So after moving and everything, I had to say goodbye to my fiance again, which was so hard. And then on top of that, my sister was getting married. And as you guys could assume, getting married during a pandemic is not easy. She ended up getting married. Well, we joke, she ended up getting married about three times because she had her legal ceremony, a ceremony with just immediate family. And then after we moved, she had a ceremony with actually all the people who were invited, but it was more of like a reception party to celebrate them getting married before. But things got even crazier because the morning after my sister's wedding, I hopped on a plane and I flew straight into school to the point where like I got there about 10 minutes before a required event, which was opening services and all of that. Once the semester started, things just picked up like crazy. In order to accommodate COVID, my school decided to start a bit earlier than usual and end earlier, but as a result, there would be no fall break, there would be no Thanksgiving break, everything was just condensed. We didn't get any breaks to refresh our minds and get the rest that we needed. You know, we're college students. We needed that kind of break and we didn't get that. And on top of all of that, I was taking some pretty heavy courses, mostly because they were creative classes. Two of them were very project-based. They were ended up being my favorite courses, but they had so much work put into them. For one of them, I actually was writing a blog. I'm not gonna continue it, so I wouldn't expect any new articles anytime soon, but I have like 19 or 20 articles that if you're interested, I mean, go check it out. And then the other class was video equipment operations. It was pretty wild, especially because I had a couple scares where I accidentally deleted the footage or when I turned in the project, there was no audio to my video. So it was definitely a learning curve and it showed me that I have a lot to learn. I really enjoyed it. It was just too much for that semester. On top of that, I was in two kind of clubs. One of them was as the president of my Greek club. That was absolutely insane because things were constantly changing because of COVID. So when we met, it looked a lot different and we were limited in what we could do. So it's not like I could look at what our past presidents had done and been like, oh, I really liked how they did that. Let me do that again or change it up a little bit. No, like I had to completely come up with new ideas to even like accommodate some of the traditions that we had, but like COVID safe versions of traditions that we had. It was kind of wild. I survived the semester and made it happen any other semester. 
I think things would have gone a little differently. Then on top of that, I was a part of my school's news team. The amount of stress and anxiety it gave me was just too much. There was one interview I spent forever getting and I thought I erased it. So there I was just sitting in our mass communications lobby in front of a computer, just like sobbing my eyes out because I thought I erased a whole bunch of footage. Good news, I found the interview. Bad news, we didn't even end up going with that story. So that was just a lot of unnecessary stress, you know, so memories. So the most exciting part of this video is that a lot has changed in my life in the last five months and I would like to share that with you guys. Something else that might be painfully obvious by now is that my hair is blonde. Funny thing is, is that changed about five months ago. I don't know if I love it more than the dark brown. We'll just give it a bit more time and see. And then the next thing and the most exciting thing about is pretty much the whole highlight of this video. I'm engaged now. I am engaged to my boyfriend, Sebastian. Y'all have seen him once in a video. It was like a clip of me FaceTiming him, so you've kind of seen his face. Who knows, maybe I can get him on my channel in a video sometime soon. I think that'd be really cool for you guys to see him. But for right now, he's just someone you can find on my Instagram. He's all over my Instagram, actually. That being said, last semester was also hectic because I was doing wedding planning on on top of all that but I couldn't say that because it would have given away some details you know I didn't want to give anything away so we are about four months into our engagement right now so far we have a guest list a venue which I'm super excited about it's absolutely gorgeous it's an old vintage schoolhouse stunning we've gotten engagement pictures and guys the Oshiro's did our engagement photos Ali Oshiro really rocked it. All the engagement photos are gonna be absolutely stunning, so I'm so excited. So, I mean, if you need a photographer or videographer or photographer videographer, go check out the Oshiro's. But on top of that, to me at least, one of the most exciting things that's happened so far is that I actually already chose a wedding dress. So it's actually sitting over in my closet and I wanna try it on every day, but you know what, I, I hold myself back. I restrain myself. I don't try it on every day. I I wish I could, but I don't. I have a lot of exciting things coming up for this break and also next school year. I won't be doing any extra clubs or organizations. I will be focusing on school, my grades. I will be focusing on wedding planning and I will also be carrying you guys along on YouTube along the way. Looking back on the four videos that I created, you probably noticed, oh, there's no theme whatsoever. You're right, there was no theme to my YouTube channel when I first started. It was very much just what I was feeling, but now that I've had an entire semester to sit back wishing that I was still YouTubing, I've been able to think about all the content that I'd like to create. I really want to start doing things that are more motivational and inspirational for you guys. And also, looking back at my old videos, I wasn't as real with you guys in the way of being very candid and transparent. And so I'd like to do that more just so you guys can get to know me a bit more and trust me in a way that you can let me get to know you more. I'm very excited to see where this is gonna go and I'm very excited to get to know a lot of you guys. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. What's great about being a new YouTube channel is that I actually have the time to go through and reply to comments and I guess I'll see you guys next week.